President Trump rolled back restrictions on government-funded building projects in areas known to flood. It is part of his plan to fix America's crumbling infrastructure. Our chief political analyst, Boris Epstein, a former campaign senior advisor for the Trump administration and a White House official, sat down with management and budget director Mick Mulvaney to discuss this issue. On infrastructure, yeah. this has been a big focus for the president since the campaign. He recently signed an executive order that eases some of the environmental regulations on infrastructure projects. Critics say that could, you, that could cause a climate catastrophe, quote unquote. Yeah. What's your response? Um, that it shouldn't take 10 years to build a road. Right. I don't think anybody thinks it should take 10 years to build a road. Do we want to protect the environment? Absolutely. Do I want to make sure my kids have clean water to drink and clean air to breathe? Absolutely. But I don't think it should take 10, 15, 20 years to get a major piece of infrastructure in this country approved. So what you saw the president sign earlier this week was a streamlining of regulations so that uh, everything sort of goes in order. And it's not like one agency is waiting on another agency to make a decision, so you have to wait and wait and wait. But everybody who, who is involved in the permitting process has to move quickly in order to allow the private sector to do more infrastructure. The president has put forth a trillion dollar plan mm -hmm. on infrastructure. According to the plan, 200 billion of that will come from the government, 800 billion over 10 years from private industry. How confident are you that private industry will come up with that money? In fact, I actually think that's a very conservative estimate of the leverage of the 200 billion that we are going to invest. I think we actually get more than a trillion dollars out of that because the, the appetite for infrastructure in this country is huge. It's, it's hundreds of billions of dollars of money that could be invested in the private sector in infrastructure if we can simply figure out a way to do it more cost effectively, which is why that, that permitting streamlining we talked about just a second ago is so important. Um, but really what we're doing, Boris is talking about changing the way we look at infrastructure in this country. This is not Obama's stimulus 2.0. This is changing the sort of the dynamics of infrastructure to get to a point where we're partnering with the states. We're giving incentives to the private sector. We're, we're doing targeted federal in investments, not simply writing big checks that uh, get spent very poorly. We're changing the way that we actually build the stuff.